hello people i hope you're doing fine um i just wanted to make this little video to show you this wonderful product called huitla coche especially for those of you who are not familiar with mexican food who have never heard about huitla coche and are wondering what is this thing <laughs> well it's it's a fungus that grows on top of corn and eventually makes the corn, the corn uh, seeds look like this when it's ripe, when, when it's already ripe, when it has grown on top and consumed all of the corn, it looks like this. And well, it's, it's a very, uh, very appreciated product in the kitchen. Some people who are, um, very fond of this product here in Mexico. We well, actually we are people in the in the cooking business, chefs and everyone, and gourmands and um, people who really appreciate Mexican food, Mexican traditional food. They're very fond of this product, especially because of its flavor and the chances it gives when when we're talking about creative cuisine especially one of the reasons why it's really really appreciated it's because of its color and well of course its flavor its flavor is really interesting too it's it's a little pungent uh but it's really rich it's a very rich flavor that 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 combines very well with many many things it's it's kind of this kind kind of hard to describe it because it's rich but it's delicate. So um, well, I wanted to show you the color. See, this is this is how it ends up. These pieces are already cooked, and look at this. It's it's black. It has a little some some little gray spots but it's basically black and the funny thing not, well not funny the the fun thing actually about with la coche is how how you can play with it and play with the colors of it and well this is this two are part of the fungus itself this one's not ripe at all I mean, this looks like the foot. Well, actually, it's not. It's not, but it's it's the actual fungus, but it hasn't ripened yet. And this is a little more ripe. Well, actually, it's completely ripe. It looks a little gray on the outside, as you can see. And then, if you open it, it's it's black. It's mostly black. And well, um, people in the cooking business and people who are involved in in cuisine in in hot cuisine actually even call it the the black gold or something like that because of because of of how important this product is for our country. And also because it's usually very expensive. Uh, that's my dog barking. Never mind him. <laughs> well, I just wanted to show you something interesting, which is this thing called Guitla Coche. And now I'm going to finish my dinner for tonight, which is actually including some Guitla Coche. See you later. Say goodbye, Quitla Coche. Bye bye.